um, as we said, all these three aspects are going to refugees, and the whole goal of the, of the whole thing is to create international peaceful agents. Uh, methodology. Um, I worked with uh, with subjects um, from the, both uh, gender, um, but sadly uh, I didn't have much females in the in the place that I was, I was working in. So I had maybe three, which was a little bit uh, disappointing. Um, uh, and and my, my sample was, was relatively small because I didn't have much access you know, to everything. The instrument I used was a, was a unit that I designed myself using a peace education um, uh, curriculum that I found that, that, that suited for teaching English when they were concentrating on vocabulary and stuff. Um, and uh, and also it, it was encouraging, it, like it had open-ending, you know, um, questions. So I, saw, I thought that that would fit into the research thing. So I, I used the whole thing and I designed it as a UBD. <laughs> You're familiar with that. It's like um, understanding by design uh, technique and uh, b believing that this technique can, can help the teacher because most of them are uh, volunteer teachers. Uh, it can help the, the teacher um, you know, understand better the material because it's not easy and uh, um, not everybody's familiar with it. Um, and also, it is a good, and it can, it can, it can deliver better. Um, in the end, data collection. I, I used uh, semi-structured uh, interviews and I used uh, observations um, with my sample. Um, and my analysis methodology was qualitative. Results were interesting. Um, I found at the beginning, I did the interviews you know, prior and after the, uh, the implementation of my unit. And in the beginning, I noticed that everyone is like, when, when I asked about what, how do you describe peace, they were like, peace is not having war. Peace is not, uh, you know, no conflict, no war, um, uh, no sickness, no, dis no refugees, for example. And this is what's called in research negative peace. A negative peace alone cannot rise, and it cannot never be effective, and it just paralyzes the person, even though he's eager for peace, but he can do nothing with that um, idea. What's fed, and what I found that even exposing them to one unit um, during one class made the whole class and the, the, the whole sample balance between positive peace, which is peace is health, balance it with no disease, for example. Peace is um, happiness versus um, sadness, love versus hate. So that was there was a balance, and this this balance can help um, people and human beings move with the with the uh, peace process in general. So uh, that was the main result that I found that I wanted to share. Limitations I had many limitations. I'm only naming three. Um, access, uh, being an international student, I was like, I didn't know much what, what's going on outside in Cairo or outside the AUC. So, um, but I was lucky to find STAR, which is a club here in, uh, in AUC. But I had difficulties and, and also the, the approval to get, you know, the, to work outside was a little bit questioned. So I didn't go for, I didn't find any other places. Um, cancellation of teachers, and um, this is another limitation. Some teachers are like, because they're volunteers, they're students, so sometimes they're like, oh, we're not having class now. I'm like, okay, what about my research? <laughs> but nothing. Um, um, this is one. Another thing, one of the teachers just um, didn't want to do the whole thing in the middle of it. Yeah, and it was like everybody, some of them, the teachers were a little bit panicked. But after they witnessed the whole thing and they saw the, how I did the units, they were very encouraged and they designed you know, the other units according to mine. Another thing is time, 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 time. We're going to hear this uh, in all other presentations, I think. Um, recommendations for further research. Um, um, I, think, I think that this research is concentrated on examining the relationships between volunteer teachers and refugee students in second language uh, classrooms uh, because it is sensitive. And in, in most of in, uh, refugees, um, um, refugees, you know, like hosting places and stuff, most of the people, they either work um, for a lot of money or for nothing, like volunteers. So they don't pay much on their training because they might leave any minute. So there, there should be research examining how these volunteers who are not trained, dealing with such a sensitive group of, like refugees, for example. Um, create basic gu guidelines for, uh, for teachers and for 
um, for example, people who are racing or creating such clubs like Star or others on, on how to do the whole thing, how to be sensitive with this um, refugee um, group. Um, develop teacher monitoring and student evaluation systems in such classes of uh, second language uh, classes for refugees because their, their assessment is different um, in, in terms of, um, for example, uh, they, they don't want to learn the language for the obvious reasons that we do. It's a, just a way to communicate, so maybe we can change the, the written si uh, examination to a, an oral one, for example, because what they're doing now is only only written thing. Um, give it easy access to information, and it's, it has to be simple than what it is on the internet now, um, available. Um, and maybe study the optimum environmental environment for refugees and what's what's good for them because um, one of the things was, for example, when they started to start, there was a clash between students because they were from different backgrounds and um, and many misfortune misfortunate uh, events happened. So um, even the ones who are trying, and this has to be highlighted in, in every, for example, refugee paper. Thank you very much.